everybody, it's Agent, and today I have a special guest with me. His name is G1 Starscream. Uh, so, I was at my local Walmart not that long ago, and I uh, happened to come across uh, Starscream. Well, take that back. Not my local one. My local one, I ended up finding this guy, who we'll go into after this video. Uh, so I went to a different Walmart, because they didn't have this guy, and they had him at that other one. So I uh, immediately picked him up because I've been waiting to find him since I heard about these re-releases. So to get started, uh, yeah, I already took him out of the package. I've already got all the stickers on him and everything. So we will get into that in just a second. Start with the package. Uh, so as you can see, it's got that nice G1 look to it. Um, it's got some nice artwork from the original G1 on there. It's got the original Transformers logo. It shows four steps and he's transformed. And you got some product shot on the bottom. G1-y looking stuff there. G1 looking stuff. G1 picture on the back. Tech specs. All that fun stuff that makes you wish you were a kid again. Um, with some slight differences. I did have somebody ask me if you could tell the difference between these packages and the original G1s, especially since uh, you're going to see a lot of these on eBay and they're going to say G1 on them. And uh, you might get excited like, ooh, G1, $30. Yeah, no, it's probably this. A big dead ringer is, um, if you can, they should have a picture of the back of the box. You're going to see you have multiple languages right here and up at the top here and uh, even right there so the, the the g1s had one language they had english on them uh, nowadays these things have multiple so that everybody can enjoy them uh, other than that uh, right here where it has the uh, authentic transformers back in the g1 that used to have like a 1.2.3 point for the transformers club that used to exist uh, another way you can tell is uh, there's a dates. There are dates on here somewhere. Where did I see it? Where did I see it? I know I saw it. I saw a date somewhere on here. And maybe I'm thinking of a different box. Yeah, I think I'm thinking of a different. Oh, right there. 2017 Hasbro. Uh, so there's a dead ringer right there. The other part would be it comes in a plastic tray. In the 80s we had styrofoam because styrofoam could not kill you in any such way as a kid because you would never eat it. And, uh, so it's in plastic now. So anyways in the box there were the stickers which I've already applied and you get this nice instruction sheet very small instruction sheet uh, seven steps and he's pretty much transformed oh I'm sorry ten steps ten steps he's transformed and then over here we got the um, sticker placement which comes in handy so there you go now we'll just put that back in there for now so yeah there we go package very nice packaging on him so there we are, the Screamer himself. Let me just adjust the camera to go down a little bit here. So there he is. And boy, does this bring back memories. Um, I honestly never got the chance to have an actual original Starscream. So for me, this is like the kid in the candy store moment, reliving my childhood and never looking back from the purchase because this thing is just awesome. I mean, there were a couple times I actually got to see a G1 Starscream in real life, and they were friends of my brother's, and they looked like this. They looked like that. <laughs> That's the best I got, was to see the um, jet missile, because <laughs> it's got no wings. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah. Yeah, that was, that was the extent of my um, joy of seeing an actual G1 Starscream back in the day. And we'll just put him back together. So, yes. And, and yes, he is a parts former. 
I mean, because the G1s, that's really what they were. <laughs> There's a lot of pieces and lots of parts that you could easily get lost. Um, so there we go. He's a very nice jet mode. Uh, the one thing I don't really like about this um, is right here. You can see this this gap. The G1 did not have that gap. And, I mean, it was more like that. I mean, there was a little bit of a gap, but this one is pretty, pretty large. Pretty large gap. I mean, these things just flop around like you wouldn't believe. But, besides that, he's very nice. I like it. I like it a lot. So, and he does come with uh, some accessories. So, what we'll do is uh, he comes with his super long missiles because in today's day and age, it cannot be a choking hazard. And no child is going to choke on something this big. He also comes with his hands, which if uh, I remember correctly, the original did not have these holes in his hands to hold anything, which they, uh, I think it was a second re-release of this guy in his G1 cartoon colors where they came up with this. So they could have this accessory, which was a Megatron, focus, Megatron gun. And we'll get into that. So that's, that's a nice looking Megatron gun. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So there we go. Um... And yeah, that's uh, that's about what we've got. So, all right. Um, oh, yeah. You also get his null rays down here, which they come off. So these things uh, just slide in, and they shoot, unlike some of the other ones that have been re-released. And you can just put his missiles in here, which would originally be right to there. Oh, really short but these ones are super long but they still shoot they still shoot and the null rays go in there too and yes they shoot out quite well all right so let's just do a little quick comparison here so for anybody that doesn't um oh i got this guy here but all right one second okay so here we got him next to a deluxe class so just so you can see that there's the deluxe. Ah, come on. How it compares to deluxe. I can bring the camera up a little bit so we can actually see heights. Like there. And then there's this monstrosity of a star scream. I haven't done the review on him yet. And I'll tell you what. I'm not sorry. At all. <laughs> I do not like this one. I have been avoiding doing it, and uh, I don't even know if I ever will. I That's what I think of that one. Uh, <laughs> and the wing just flew off of it because it couldn't stay together. So, all right. Uh, yeah, I don't want to... I'll save that one for later, um, the masterpiece, because we know that's just going to be bigger anyways. So, all right, moving that along. So, all right. Ooh, wait, I got one more. This, this one's special. Um, this is a G1 thrust, and it is a G1 ghost thrust. <laughs> but he's so tiny. I mean, he's seriously tiny. But you know what? Even for as tiny as he is, his missiles are proper size. They are the size. <laughs> and extremely easy to launch off. Um, so that one's gone. Do it with this one. So, actual missile size. So, gently set that one down. And then we'll. Like that. And nowadays, missile size. <laughs> I, mean, I know it's hard to see because of how what the color of that one. But, yeah. So, you can see how it should be and how it's not. All right. Get that back back where it belongs. And uh, get this gun back onto Ghost Thrust. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll do him one day. We'll take care of that one. So, all right. Anyways, why don't we just transform this bad guy and you know, see what we got. So, the first thing we're going to do 
It's gonna remove his landing gear. Wait, I did show you that he rolled. He rolls quite nicely. I have the wheel tilted, so he's rolling in a weird way. But yes, so he, he very much so rolls um, with his die cast wheels. I forgot to mention that. All this red is die cast. All the wheels are die cast, so he's a very, very heavy figure. It's kind that when you were a kid, you used to just throw at your little brother or your older brother and pray they didn't get a concussion. So, all right, so first thing we're going to do with this is uh, um, um, I'm going to pull this down. Pull the cockpit down, and then this part of the nose cone comes down. I forgot to mention the cockpit does open, just like the G1 did. I'm forgetting all sorts of stuff. That That's okay. We all know this stuff. So then from there, we're going to take these, and we're going to get them to come out. And uh, from here, I like to just tilt my wings back like that. Oh, wait. How do I like to do it? I like to... Yeah, I do it like this. Because then I go like this, and I slide that forward, and then I tilt it up. Now you can just remove the wing, but if you don't have to, why why remove it? So, all right. Anyways, we've got this big hole there. Push that through. Push this down. That brings the cockpit to right there. You got the nose cone with the head, so you just pull the nose cone back, set it right there. And then on your wings here, you just tilt these forward, like so. Flip those down. Then you get the joy of bringing out the hands, which clip on the ends here. There you are. And then you got his null rays, which we can clip onto the sides of his arms in these big old holes right there. And try not to launch them off. And get his head to stay. And there we go. There is our G1 Starscream and all of his not looking like the cartoon at all glory um, <laughs> so but there he is and this is all this is what we had I mentioned this in the uh, hot rod video in fact this guy's a little bit more um, he's got more to him uh, in transformation wise than the hot rod figure did but uh, still it nothing like the cartoon I mean similar but not but that all deals with the fact that it used to be uh, Diaclone, which was supposed to be just a giant robot with a micro guy that drove him around. And yeah, go on. Go down. There we go. That, that was weird. So, okay. So there he is. Uh, articulation. His wings rotate around the back like that. Uh, his head can disappear. His arms, if we move those back, we'll do a complete 360. Uh, they move out a little bit, um, just because of transformation. And, uh, that is all. That is all he does. Except for he does have this Megatron gun, which if you pull that apart and put his hand up, that will slide right into there like that and then the bottom part of the gun tabs onto this block that I was showing you before so it looks like he's holding the Megatron gun yep so there we go and that is a little bit more articulation yeah so I mean really great figure great figure um, very nostalgic and I think that's that's what they're going for with these. They're just trying to get us older guys that used to watch Transformers as a kid, got super attached to them, and kind of want to relive our childhood a little bit. And that's exactly what we're doing. So, all right. Comparison-wise, first up, we'll do our Deluxe, which he uh, is roughly the same size with. And then we'll do... Frankenstein's monster and yes I see wing busted off 
And there goes another piece. <laughs> um, and then we have masterpiece size. So these ones are meant to look like they were supposed to. And then, last but not least, mini thrust. <laughs> Oh, this guy is so cute. It's like Starscream's kid. <laughs> yes, good boy. Fall over. <laughs> Sorry. I. Uh, if you've got any questions about this guy, I'll just comment on him and I'll, I'll answer him as best I can. Um, I picked him up a while ago and I thought he was bigger. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, there's G1 Starscream, and uh, yeah, so next up, after we do this, we're going to be taking a look at these guys, and uh, as you can see, they are actually still in the box. Uh, no stickers, no nothing, so I'll pull them out, and we'll look at them then. But until then, here's our G1 Starscream. Thanks for watching, and until next time. Oh, before I finish that, make sure to subscribe and like a video and leave a comment because we are still doing the 500 subscriber thing. We just have to get to 500 subscribers. And when we do, you can have your very own G1 hot rod if you are the lucky winner. Eh? I still have it. I still have it. So make sure you like it. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you comment. And, uh, get other people to do it because as soon as the sooner we reach 500 the sooner that we will um be giving that guy away and we can move on off that and maybe do another giveaway maybe something bigger who knows we won't know until we reach 500 so until next time